Hey everybody, thank you so, so much for tuning in. Today is the day that I tackle the most stressful area of my home, which is my closet. Now, I live in a really small place, so my closet is my linen closet, my storage closet, my clothing closet, and I need to organize it or I'm gonna go insane. So I went over to Dollar Tree and I picked up a bunch of organizational stuff and I am so ready to clear my closet out and make a little bit of extra money because I do plan on selling my stuff on Poshmark. If you don't already have Poshmark, I'll leave the link in the description. Make sure that you download the app and check out my closet. It's J Money DIY. Leave your closet name below because you never know who might be interested in your stuff. I know a bunch of people who have been watching that Marie Kondo special and they are just waiting for Poshmark to fill up with everyone's goodies so they can jump on it because not only is it a great place to sell, but it's also a great place to buy. So make sure that you download it. I'll leave a link in the description and hopefully this video gives you some organizational ideas if you have the same thing going on with your closet. So let's go ahead and get started. Please no judgments. I understand that my closet is a hot mess. Let's get started. Okay, so here is a tour of the closet. First, it's really narrow. So even though it's a walk-in closet, it's pretty narrow and I am using this whole thing as a linen closet, as storage. So here I have a bunch of hats and purses and documents and stuff that is just out of order and I'm like ruining expensive purses because I have so much stuff on top of it and bending them out of shape. So I want to see what we can get rid of here. I have a ton of stuff on the floor which is actually covering my shoes. Since I don't have a linen closet and I don't have anywhere to put toilet paper and stuff, it's just kind of thrown in here. The clothing department isn't too bad because I've decluttered, but I do want to get rid of more stuff. And then up here, I'm just storing stuff that's meant to be storage. So I have this, I always keep what the comforters come in so that when I pack my clothes I can just stuff it in there. But I just think I have too many. I don't even own that comforter anymore. This one is probably useless, so uh, I, I'm a hot mess, guys. So today we're going to clean this up, see what we can use from the dollar store, sell this stuff on Poshmark, make a little extra money, and hopefully bring some sanity to my life. I wanted to start with the area that bothered me the most, which was this shelf. So I decided to take everything off of it just to see exactly what I had and what was piling up on top of each other. And I was going to work my way there. The clothes department isn't so bad. So right now what's making the closet look really out of hand is this shelf and stuff on the floor. So the first thing I wanted to give a home to was my husband's stuff. So I bought this litter pan, which I thought would be perfect to house some of his fishing stuff, his wetsuit, his snorkel, stuff that takes up space, but I want it all together so that when he's looking for it, he doesn't drive me crazy. So I put it all in this little bin and I wanted it into a narrow bin so that we can put it high up so Arya can't get to any of it. And I made sure he was the one to put it away so that whenever he asked for it, there it is. <laughs> Another thing that was causing unnecessary bulk and clutter were my purses. I do own a lot of medicine bag style purses and storing them the way that I was was causing that weird indentation and I could never see my purses. So I found the most perfect way to get them up and out of the way, which are these plant hooks from Dollar Tree. The hooks themselves are wide enough to where you can hold any type of bag and I can keep them out of the way without compromising any kind of storage in my closet. So I had my husband hang them from the top shelf and as you can see, I can still store stuff up top. All of my purses are displayed so I know what I own and they're retaining their shape without compromising any storage at all. Both the top and the bottom shelf can still be used. For my clutch style purses, I ended up using this dish rack from Dollar Tree and this honestly ends up being the best solution because I always forget what purses I own since they always end up in a box or stacked on top of each other. So this was the neatest way I can do it. Little ones like this that needed to hold their shape a little better, I grabbed a little bit of foam board from the Dollar Tree and put it on the inside and closed it just so it can stand up straight a little better and doesn't cause that weird indentation. 
These are the hats that I decided to keep and I'm going to display them by using these self-adhesive hooks from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use this empty wall space and take advantage and use it as storage by hooking on my hats and putting them somewhere where I can see them and possibly wear them. Because these are all my hats except for the Coast Guard one, I put these up where I could reach them and I fluffed them out since the other way I was storing them obviously made them lose their shape and I think this is perfect. Now to tackle the hot mess that is the floor, which is everything that's fallen from up top and things that do not belong, I'm just gonna take it all out and see what can be donated and sold. Like Tammy. Tammy gotta go. So now you can actually see my shoes and my husband's shoes and I can organize them. Now to organize them, I used the Dollar Tree shelf risers and I didn't find enough, so I only got these two. I put my husband's shoes at the bottom, mine at the top, and I wish I could have found more to organize the rest of my shoes, but that's okay. And for my fluffy shoes, I put them in the Dollar Tree dish rack. That way they have a home and they're not just thrown and taking up space. My boots and sneakers I keep in the downstairs closet because I don't walk upstairs when I'm wearing them. So I think that this is the perfect stuff to keep up here and it doesn't take up any space and I can see the shoes that I do own. I found these green baskets at Dollar Tree and thought they would be perfect to roll up our beach towels and our personal towels. That way I can make room in my actual linen closet and keep the guest towels in there. So even with putting these two baskets full of towels in my closet, I had enough room. So I added a third basket for my thicker pajamas and my heating pad. That way that has a home as well and isn't taking up a ton of space in a drawer. I found this over the door hook at Dollar Tree and I thought it would be perfect for inside the closet door to keep bathrobes because I really don't like keeping them in the bathroom. I think they get a funky smell and that way it's not mixed in with the rest of the clothes. Now it's time to declutter the closet and instead of taking everything out and causing more of a mess, I just picked out things that I know that I hadn't worn in more than a year and stuff that I knew didn't fit. There was just no point in holding on to those things anymore. Okay y'all, so my bed is a mess, but this is all the stuff that I'm gonna sell on Poshmark. All of the stuff that I don't wear, I don't use, all of those purses and backpacks, and I feel a whole lot better. So as you can see, I still have luggage and stuff up there. It's nice and rolled up, but I have so much space. And now my actual linen closet can be used as a linen closet because I have our personal stuff here my stuff is displayed so I might actually get to wear it and I have enough space to walk in here and actually pick out outfits rather than just wearing black tights all the time. So that's it for me. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me while I cleaned out my closet. Make sure that you visit my Poshmark closet at jmoneydiy and create your own because you are getting paid to clean your mess. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.